Hey, what is up you guys? It's your boy Shredo here. We're back at it again with another video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to whatever time you're watching this. So, in this video, we're going to be checking out something a little bit more uh, different. Uh, part ways for a bit with our musical reactions, uh, song, other artists' reactions. And we'll try and uh, check out other uh, avenues, per se. So, uh, I think uh, if you're fond of using tiktok you might have seen this guy uh maybe once or twice or or maybe you've followed him already on tiktok but uh, uh he has a youtube channel casual geographic basically what what he's his uh content is is that he is stating some animal facts in a casual way in more casual manner and it's it's quite entertaining I and mean, he's very knowledgeable at the subject so yeah uh, this is this video is ruining your day with facts for seven minutes straight this is animal facts by the way so uh, also if if you're if there are some uh, what you call this like afraid of snakes or afraid of any type of animals uh, I'm just going to give you guys a heads up at the beginning of the video because there might be some in this video i don't know i haven't seen this video yet so yeah yeah just be warned and uh, sorry if ever you get scared or something but if you have it already please do subscribe to the channel and let's try and get our day ruined <laughs> here are ways animals oh shit uh -huh. okay okay let's go but it progressively gets more and more disturbing. Waste animals eat, but get progressively, progressively gets disturbing. Okay. The Luna Moth, it doesn't. Oh, oh, spider warning, spider warning. That's a beautiful little thing. Uh, it's a moth. Nature decided they didn't need a mouth, so they live for a week and starve to death. Tarantulas use their venom to. What? What? It doesn't. Nature it, it doesn't eat. Also, it doesn't eat. She decided they didn't need a mouth, so they live for a week and starve to death. Oh no. They live for a week and then die. Shit. That's... That's oddly disturbing. Sad. Tarantulas use their venom to... Okay. ...put their prey on a stretcher, but the horror movie begins when they start eating. They'll vomit digestive enzymes all over the dead body to liquefy the corpse and then suck up the soup carcass through straw-like mouths, basically digesting the food before it gets in their body. Ah. So basically, they... Uh, bite and then they have on the uh, the victim and then it digests the victim from the inside and they sip the victim like a slurpee nice good to know vultures are scavengers that feed on the deceased but since they have weak claws and even weaker beaks they begin every meal by sticking their head in a dead animal's rotting anus and pulling the intestines out okay this is not this is not child friendly uh i'm sorry <laughs> Putting their head inside an anus, what the fuck? That's actually why they're bald, because when you toss a dead warthog salad for a living, you're better off with no feathers on your head, because they're just gonna get dirty. The <laughs> starfish will eject its stomach all over its prey, digest it from the outside until it's reduced to a soupy chowder, only to suck it all up again. Okay, Fun fact, so? actually really sad fact, starfish eat sponges, and yes, I saw the Patrick cartoon, and no, I still haven't forgiven the internet for it. Aww. Patrick eats Spongebob, sad. Hey Patrick, let's go get some jellyfish. Patrick, do you know how sea stars feed SpongeBob? Let me show you. Our stomachs extend out of our bodies and injection them with enzymes so that they may be digested externally. I'm sorry, SpongeBob. <laughs> the fuck? For the women out there, have you ever tried to reject a guy and he just wouldn't take the hint? Well, here are some options you didn't know you had. If you're a female capybara, you would find the nearest body of water and submerge yourself until the guy takes a hint and leaves you alone. If you happen to be a female moorland dragonfly, you would fake your own death to destroy the morale of whatever guy pursuing you. What the fuck? Fake your own death? Female dragonflies have been observed crash diving and laying motionless until their suitor flew off, only moving once the coast was clear. <laughs> what? As a female mandrill, you would round up a few equally pissed off females and jump the offending male party even though he can be up to three times bigger than you. <laughs> if he survives his brutal lesson in gender equality, he is banished from the group. And if you're a redback <laughs> spider, you already know how this movie ends. Aww. If a guy approaches you and you're not feeling it, you would just eat him. No beating around the bush, no letting him down easy, just straight up take his life. Yep. 
is dead. Now to be fair, even if you do let him hit, there's about a 60% chance you would cannibalize him anyway. Basically, you would snatch his soul twice. <laughs> the fuck? Here's an animal friendship you didn't know you needed in life. Also, obligatory spider warning. Spider warning, spider warning, guys. The tarantula is a powerful predator that can take out birds, rodents, and even venomous snakes. But he has a best friend and a roommate. And it's actually this tiny dotted humming frog. Normally this little How? A frog would be two seconds away from croaking in a coffin, but they have a deal. The frog eats the ants and insects that would eat the tarantula's eggs, and in return they get a place to stay outside of the drying sun, and they get probably the best bodyguard you can get in the jungle. Same. So... Oh. But look how big this motherfucker is. This fucking tarantula. And look at this cute little... Little froggy over there. So basically, he's guarding uh, her eggs. So this the frog eats the insects that uh, might eat the tarantula's eggs. So in in return, the tarantula serves as the bodyguard for this little shit. Nice, good for you. You get you get a free meal and a bodyguard. Tarantula is capable of accidentally eating their frog friends, so they use chemicals to tell which ones are on their side. Young spiders will grab these frogs, examine them with their mouth parts, and when they realize it's their friend, they'll release them unharmed. <laughs> what the fuck? But if the tarantula ever decides to do them dirty, the frog's skin is covered in disgusting tasting toxins. But the relationship works so well that it never needs to get to that point. As long as the frog protects the tarantula's future children, the spider will protect the frog from threats like snakes. Nice. Even after the eggs hatch, the tarantula will continue to protect its green babysitter. If you didn't think spiders could be wholesome, there you go. Aww. But to, arach uh, to those who have arachnophobia, uh, yeah, uh, I don't think this will help you guys. <laughs> this is cute. Here are some facts about the ocean you may or may not believe. You're just going to have to trust me. Okay. What early sailors thought were mermaids actually turned out to be a group of manatees that they described as not as beautiful as painted. But if. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've heard about this. And this is actually true. If you look at their skeleton, you can kind of see how they made them. Yeah. Mistake. I mean, did you know manatees have hands? I did. Whales and dolphins sleep by turning off half their brain at a time, and they also sleep like this. And since whales have. Oh. That's fascinating, actually. Like. Like they sleep upright. You know, they're usually like this. They're usually like this, and then they sleep like this. And they turn off half of their brain. So, yeah. That's actually quite nice. Hmm have to remind themselves to breathe they hold their breath for their entire nap the marianas trench is so deep that if you put mount everest at the bottom the top of the mountain would still be a mile away from the surface damn if you put mount everest at the bottom of mariana's trench the top would be over a mile away from the surface a mile away from the surface jesus christ there's actually rivers and lakes in the ocean this is because seawater seeps up through the thick layer of salt, dissolving the salt layer, causing it to collapse and forming a depression that I guess you can call an underwater lake. Mm -hmm. There's actually a lake in the Gulf of Mexico that instantly kills anybody that swims in it because it contains toxic amounts of methane and hydrogen sulfide. Flying fish can launch themselves at 35 miles per hour and they can glide for 650 feet, which is almost two football fields. Damn. Damn. I've seen one of these, uh, some of these. Uh, uh, we were at the beach, you know, just chilling with the fam. And, uh, yeah, there are some of these from where I'm from. The fastest thing. Two football fields, though. Damn. 35, 35 miles per hour. Imagine you're just swimming and then a 35 mile per hour gliding fish hits you in the head. You'd be concussed, I think. And they can glide for 650 feet, which is almost two football fields. The fastest thing in the ocean is a sailfish because it can swim almost as fast as a motivated cheetah can run. Most of the oxygen... As fast as a cheetah can run, that's 70 kilometers per hour? Oh, I forgot. Your breathing right now didn't come from trees, it came from the billions of phytoplankton in the ocean. Ocean facts that you may or may not believe, you're just gonna have to trust me. The most common cause of human death in the ocean isn't drowning, it's actually heart attack. The blue whale is the biggest thing ever. Really? The most common cause of human death in the ocean isn't drowning, it's actually heart attack. The most common cause of human death in the ocean is not drowning. It's heart attack. So like, people are just swimming and then they get a heart attack? Oh, I didn't know that. I actually didn't know that. Now we know. The blue whale is the biggest thing ever spawned, but because they have a throat the size of a dinner plate, they eat krill. As filter feed- They have a throat the size of a dinner plate. Oh, so like... Something, something like this. Size of my face. Basically. 
that's a small throat for like such a big thing animal they can take out disrespectful amounts of them at once in fact they can swallow one million calories in one half a million calories at once Mouthful. because i am who i am that is 811 big max thank 811 big max it's the echolocation dolphins have close to x-ray vision that they used to see inside the bodies of other dolphins or whatever humans are underwater with them which is why scientists believe they have an interest in pregnant women because they can see the fetus inside them the most poison so dolphins can actually like see inside you using using echolocation so it's like x-ray oh. which is why scientists believe they have an interest in pregnant women because they can see the fetus inside them the most poisonous thing in the ocean is the puffer fish not only because tetrodotoxin is an instant rip the amount needed to put you in a coffin could fit on a pinhead some have a poison that is 1200 times more of a death sentence than cyanide approximately jesus christ and people eat this like an X amount of people die every year because of eating uh, uh, the puffer, uh, puffer fish that isn't properly prepared. So, uh, shit, I will not be eating puffer fish anytime soon, I guess. Ultimately, half of U.S. territory is actually underwater. The blue whale has the largest penis on the planet and the... <laughs> 16 feet long. The largest Moby Dick ever found was about 16 feet long. Jesus. But relative to body size, the animal packing the absolute most is the barnacle because their equipment can stretch to eight times their own body length eight times its own body length what the fuck which is probably why spongebob uses it as a curse word. animals that look dangerous but surprisingly animals that look dangerous but aren't. aren't okay okay the whip scorpion looks like it crawled out of a stephen king wet dream but they don't bite and they don't produce venom even though they look like aliens they're actually massive pushovers they're perfectly harmless and the only damage they can do is those things are harmless no those things are terrifying to look at what the fuck to the property value of your house. Piranha got hoed by the media, but they're virtually zero threat to people. They're yeah, 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 I've heard of this one. I've heard this is. I've heard of this one. Avengers, meaning if they're eating something, it's probably already dead. Attacks are extremely rare. Most of the time, you could literally be sitting in the middle of a feeding frenzy and not get touched. I already know exactly what you're going to say, but what happened with Steve Irwin was actually a freak accident because Stingray are afraid of people. They're shy and they'd rather run away. Unless you confuse them for a placement and step on them, they will not attack you first. And even if they do, it's not a death sentence. Stingray venom isn't deadly, it's actually super treatable. What happened to Steve Irwin was maliciously bad luck because not only did he get attacked, he got stung in the worst possible spot, right in the heart. But if he was alive, he'd want you to know they're not a threat. The Black Widow has a pretty trash reputation. People don't really like the spiders either, but they rarely bite. A study showed that even after getting poked several times, the spider still didn't attack. It takes a lot to get them to attack, and even if they do, the bites are rarely fatal. I promise you they're not that bad. Animals that look dead. They're not that bad, huh? Black Widows aren't that bad. Okay, what the fuck is that thing behind him? Dangerous, but surprisingly, aren't. I will never disagree that the Japanese spider crab is one of the most blatant FUs nature ever gave us. But <laughs> Neptune's paralysis demon is actually non-aggressive. What the fuck is that thing? Look at it. The fuck? Towards humans. With a 12-foot leg span and 40 pounds of nightmare fuel, they don't even swim. They just walk around the ocean floor, scrounging and living like the rest of us. <laughs> Staying in the ocean, a frilled shark looks like Lucifer's fleshlight and has seven... A frilled shark. Feet are longer than most NBA players. But the frill shark isn't aggressive and they rarely come into contact with people and when they do, they really just don't care. Perfectly harmless except to your mental health. Because every time it yawns, a therapist retires early. This spiky boy is an intimidating Australian dinosaur that strikes fear into the hearts of anyone that sees it. I mean, he probably would if he wasn't six inches long. Six inches. They also have a false head meant to confuse predators whenever pressure comes. Next we have the- How the fuck did he get here? Next we have the spider with the name of- Oh hell no. I refuse to say out loud because fragile masculinity won't let me. Father lengthy limbs has never been known to attack a human and they're virtually harmless because their fangs are too short to pierce human flesh. They're more- This is a- This is a myth. They can bite, but the venom is mild and not dangerous, okay. I'm afraid of you hitting them with a newspaper then you should be of them putting you on one. Animals whose size society did a poor job of preparing you for. I don't think enough people realize that capybara can weigh nearly 200 pounds and are the largest rodents on earth. But yeah, yeah, capybaras are the largest rod rodents on earth, so uh... They're basically like cousins of uh, rats and shit. So imagine a rat that big, but with mild temperament and one you can keep as a pet. That's a capybara, basically. And it loves water also, and veggies. It's a good thing they're friendly because an aggressive mega gerbil could bring actual hell on earth. <laughs> they're cool, but you don't want to bring the hood out of an animal that could take licks from a jaguar and seem unbothered. I mean, just look at this guy. I have always said that sea lions are grizzly bears with a faster swim time. The stellar sea lion can go to 11 feet long, weigh 2,500 pounds, and I don't care whose name is on it, that boat belongs to them now. Wild <laughs> boars are a problem that nobody ever seems to want to talk about. 
The largest one ever caught was allegedly 12 feet long and over a thousand pounds. And I 12 feet long. A thousand pounds. Assume they put allegedly in there to keep our mental health intact. What the I fuck? I really need somebody to... What the fuck is that thing? Tell me this is photoshopped. Yes, please. What the fuck? Look at him. I still don't understand how we have a 9 foot 300 pound dinosaur just running around and everyone accepts this as a part of life. <laughs> this picture should actually be terrifying because it's the closest to an actual dinosaur you're gonna get. Ostrich. That is exactly how nonsense like this happens. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Ah, that was just really quite nice. That didn't ruin my day. Uh, the one with the, uh, like, the tarantula and the frog friend, that was actually quite cute. Yeah. Well, if you like the video, please like the video, share this to your family and friends, uh, those who uh, like animal facts and shit, so share this to them. If you have any comments, put it down in the comment section down below, and that will be all for this video, I guess. Till next time, folks. Bye-bye.